Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my aviation nuggets to have all the new episodes and all the new aviation nuggets on my YouTube channel. Okay, so in this session today, in this short minutes, we are going to discuss the ECAM system of the Airbus A320 family. What is meant by ECAM? Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring ECAM. Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring ECAM. In the Airbus A320 family cockpit, we are having two display units in the middle of the uh, uh, front display of the captain and first officer. We are having upper ECAM and the lower ECAM. Upper ECAM is called engine and warning display, and lower ECAM is called system display. Where on the ECAM system, which is part of the electronic instrument system, we are having system display, fault, operational data, and checklist come on the ECAM system again. The ECAM system will display, the ECAM system will display, system display, engine display, warnings, fault, operational data, and system display. Okay. The difference between the upper ECAM and lower ECAM is that the upper ECAM is the engine and warning display unit. And lower ECAM is the system display unit, engine and warning display unit, and system display unit. Okay, so on the top of the upper ECAM, we are having engine display. Primary engine data are permanently display on the upper ECAM, like EBAR, N1, N2, EGT, and the fuel flow. And we are having warning display on the lower part of the upper ECAM. And on the lower ECAM, we are having system display, like flight control system page, landing gear or wheel system page, hydraulic system page, air conditioning, pneumatic, and all other system page. Okay, so we are having two display units, composing the ECAM system, composing the ECAM system. Okay, so... Let's continue what is meant by ECAM and how the data is displaying or are displayed on the upper and lower ECAM. Okay, so from the aircraft system sensors, we are having two SADAC system data acquisition concentrator. Two SADAC acquire system data from the aircraft system sensor and send this data to display management computer or DMC display management computer. Always DMC one are the main computer for the upper and lower ECAM. And we are having DMC two and DMC three as a backup for DMC one. DMC acquire data from the system data acquisition concentrator and send it to the display unit that will generate image on the display unit. Display unit will generate image from the data received by the display management computer. Display management computer. Okay. So, as you can see, DMC1 are the main computer for the ECAM upper and lower with DMC2 and DMC3 as a backup, as a backup, okay. What is the heart of the ECAM system? What is the heart of the ECAM system? The heart of the ECAM system is the flight warning computer. Flight warning computer acquire data either directly from the aircraft system sensors or from the system data acquisition concentrator, okay. Flight warning computer generate red warning based on the aircraft system sensors. And the flight warning computer will generate amber cautions based on the data from the system data acquisition concentrator. Flight warning computer will give data to the display management computer to display alerts 
red warning and amber caution on the ECAM system. And also the flight warning computer will directly send the warning and the caution on the attention getters on the glare shield and to the loud speaker like synthetic voice data or synthetic voice alert and oral alert oral alert okay everybody so again we are answering an important question in this ses session what is the heart of the ecam it is the flight warning computer flight warning computer flight warning computer acquire data from directly from the aircraft system sensors to generate red warning and acquire data from the system data acquisition concentrator to generate amber caution to generate amber caution so here also we need to answer an important question what is the difference between red warning and amber caution what is the difference between warning and caution the warning red warning need an immediate action from pilots but the caution the action may be solved later or may be done later the red warning is a problem that will affect people and will affect the people on the aircraft but Caution may be a problem that will affect the machine or component on the aircraft. May affect the machine or component or of the aircraft. Okay, everybody. So, we are having three display management computers. DMC-1 is the primary computer for upper and lower ECAM with DMC-2 and DMC-3 as a backup. Okay. DMC acquire data from the system data acquisition concentrator, which are acquired data from the aircraft system sensors, from the aircraft system sensors. Again, the ECAM, Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring, is part of the Electronic Instrument System. The Electronic Instrument System is equal to ECAM plus EFIS. ECAM plus EFIS. For the ECAM, what indication are indicated on the ECAM. We are having engine display, system display, operational data, checklist, and warnings and caution displayed on the ECAM system. What is the difference between upper ECAM and lower ECAM? Upper ECAM is an engine and warning display, and lower ECAM is a system display. Upper ECAM is an engine and warning display with lower ECAM system display. Thank you always for your good listening, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host was Haysam Ali, and I'm an Airbus A320 aviation technical training instructor. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. And I need to hint that these ses sessions are performance support tools. Performance support tools. They are not a formal training. They cannot be used for aircraft maintenance or aircraft flight. Please always consult your formal manual, like flight crew operating manual, aircraft maintenance manual, or troubleshooting manual and use only my videos and my aviation nuggets as a performance support tools as a performance support tools to increase your awareness and to answer some questions regarding aircraft system information thank you again have a good day and i will see you again so soon bye bye